many times a day are you making a decision not to achieve your goals? When you're in the shower for an hour, when it could just be 10, 15 minutes, you're making a decision to give up 45 minutes of your time. And you're young, so you won't know this right now, but time is flying by. It's the most finite resource and the most valuable resource that we have. So that's the last thing you want to be wasting. You're wasting it by doing a task that should be taking 10, 15 minutes and spending an hour on it, right? That time could have been spent doing other things. So that, those are the micro decisions I'm talking about, right? And when it comes to procrastination, there's good news and bad news when it comes to procrastination, okay? The bad news is it's going to be on you to make the change. As my first mentor, Jermon, used to say, for things to change, you have to change. For things to get better, you have to get better. And he used to say, don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. Again, notice the focus on personal accountability, on taking ownership, taking responsibility. It's up to you and it's on you and you're the one who needs to get better for external circumstances to get better, right? It's going to be on you. I would also look at that as good news, but that's just me. I'm a little bit crazy. For most people, that's the bad news. The fact that it's on you. The good news is there's a cure. There's a solution to procrastination. And I've given this to you before, but I'll give it to you again. Part one of that solution to procrastination is having the right information. So the right guidance, the right information, the right mentorship, which you have. We're on this call together. You already have that. Part two of the solution to procrastination is personal accountability. We've been talking about that, so I'm going to drill that in again. Being able to hold yourself accountable so that you can sustain the activity levels, taking action over a longer period of time, right? Because you can get the right information. You can be on a call like this. You can get motivated, but that's all temporary. Motivation is what gets you started. Discipline is what keeps you going. That's what you're looking to build. Discipline. That's the key word. That's the foundation beneath everything that you want in life. Discipline. And how do you build a high level of discipline? How do you build discipline in all areas of your life? By holding yourself accountable without having anybody else needing to hold you accountable. By not compromising on small decisions. Because those little inches you give yourself will lead to you know, allowing yourself to, to slip, allowing yourself to fall, allowing yourself to go way farther than you thought you would have gone. Whereas if you don't give an inch, every little decision, you stay on the path, you stick to your disciplines, you keep your word to yourself, even when those opportunities present themselves, right? That will allow you to build your discipline and continue to reinforce the discipline to a point where that discipline has now become indestructible.